Dr. Tony Huge of EnhancedAthlete.com and Coach Trevor is going to tell us how much steroids you can fit per ml. Because the question keeps coming up from you guys, which we read of you all of your comments, even if we don't personally respond to each one, I read them and then I eventually do videos on those topics. Is, is the super test 400 uh, milligrams per milliliter real? Uh, some people have seen DECA 300 milligrams per mil milliliter and they're wondering if that's real uh, because usually you see testosterone at 250 milligrams per milliliter, DECA at 250 milligrams per milliliter, Tren Ace at 100 milligrams per milliliter. So the question is how come or can you fit more than that per milliliter. Let's start with testosterone, Trevor. What's the most uh, amount you can fit of testosterone suspended in oil? Uh, five to six hundred. Five to six hundred? I've never seen five to six hundred. How come I only see two hundred to two hundred and fifty at the most milligrams per milliliter? Because it hurts like hell. Because it hurts? Yeah, when people uh, get test flu, they think it's um, they think it's the alcohol content, which is part of it, but it's a solvent to break it down. Now there's different esters, right? You have cytheonate, enanthate, propionate, phenylpropionate, and decanate, um, whatever. When you take enanthate, enanthate, you don't need a solvent. When you start getting to over 300 milligrams per ml, you need a solvent to add to it. Um, so. As soon as you get to the 300 marker, and now you have to add more benzoate. And that's the stuff that gives you that test flu, the stuff that makes you feel like your bones are achy and everything hurts. So anything over 300 starts to hurt, and it, it doubles every probably 50 to 100 milligrams. So 50 milligrams, it hurts twice. 100 milligrams, it hurts four times of that. And then 500 milligrams, that just doubles, doubles, doubles. Now, like I said, Nanthe does not require solid, so after that, uh, sipping it requires a solvent no matter what, so you're going to use probably 15-20% benzoate depending on whoever is making it for 200 milligrams. So as you go up in milligrams, you're going to have to add more, and that's the stuff that inflames the area and swells and makes you feel sick. The propionate uh, requires about 18-20% benzoate, or you can use a glycol recipe, and all those things cause that. So. You can make a propionate 200 to 250 milligrams. In fact, you can probably make, it wouldn't be logical, but you could probably make a gram in a shot. But you would use pure um, solvent rather than oil. Oil is your carrier oil, which transports it. The, the solvent is what breaks it down into the oil so it's not crystally. If you've ever seen it crystally, because there's not enough solvent in there or it gets too cold and it'll crystallize on you. So theoretically, you could probably make it about a gram a shot, but there's no oil and it's gonna be pure alcohol and solvent. So it's, you're not gonna be able to walk if you get it in your glutes. Wow, the bodybuilder chemist speaks. I just learned a lot, guys. I hope you could follow some of that. Sorry about the background noise of the needle. He just covered testosterone only, so we're going to probably have to do other videos on uh, trend. Be swell and swole, my friends of freedom, pioneers of human evolution. <laughs>